All right, we are live. I'm Hank Strange. This is episode two of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. And today we're gonna like we're gonna go real smooth and mellow. I've got my my buddy Babyface P in the building. Babyface P. There he goes. He's in the building. He's waving. And we've also got Walter Keller and family out in Wyoming joining us yeah. remote from the, you know, Cody the wilderness. Wyoming. Yeah, the wilderness. So <laughs> today we're just going to be talking about whatever we want to. Uh, you're, you're traveling on the road, Walter, so you probably didn't see what happened yesterday. But I want to thank everyone that jumped in there. It seems like there was a lot of comments. You know, um, I've never seen such a divided broadcast as what we had yesterday. Um, some incredibly negative comments, some uh, some good comments out there. What I wanted to do was shine a light, uh, put a spotlight on that particular situation. So, you know, it is what it is. Today we're going to, you know, we're going to try to bring it down a little bit. So what's going on in everyone's world? What's up with you, Walter? We are in Cody, Wyoming. Um and part of our um, excellent adventure for this summer vacation. Um, not to worry anybody that's worried whether the shop's open or not. It is. The guys are back there working while we're out playing. Um, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, probably so. Well, probably so. Um, anyways, let's get off that subject. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we started out in Denver last week and. Um, Went to Jackson Hole and um, to the Teton Village and all that there in uh, the Teton Mountains. Um, and then we ended up in Yellowstone for a couple days. And now we're in Cody, Wyoming. Went to the museum, the Cody uh, uh, Bill. Uh, Buffalo Bill. Um, wild, Buffalo, yeah. Buffalo Bill West. Museum of the Wild West, which has the Cody Firearms Museum there also. Um, excellent museum. We only saw a portion, a little small part of the stuff that was on display. But um, super cool museum. It's like really big, you know, and all modern. The buildings are all new and everything else. So um, that was really, really neat. Yellowstone was pretty awesome. Um, if you've never been out to Yellowstone, definitely check it out. Um, we stayed at the Old Fateful Inn, which is the old one that was built like Teddy Roosevelt time. Um, very cool, very rustic, but very busy. Um, Yellowstone is just getting started with their tourist season for the summer. So if you're going to go out there, anybody, do it this time of year. Don't wait until it gets really warm because it'll probably be a madhouse. Yeah, it's um, hard to get around as it is. The traffic now is not too bad, but I can imagine during the season. Um, but we saw we saw a grizzly bear with her mama, um, a grizzly bear with her cubs. Um, we stopped for lunch one day, and um, – we're getting all our food out, and somebody else goes by in a car and says, hey, there's a bear right over there. And sure enough, we quickly put our food back in and started to drive out, and there's the mama grizzly bear and two cubs. That's so, about 50 feet away. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, was that scary? So we saw it. Uh, well, we were in the car at the time. So. Yeah, we were in the car. <laughs> but um, still, that I mean, always, you know. That doesn't always save you. <laughs> well, she seemed to be pretty much going in one direction and the cub kind of looked at us but she just kept going so you know but we saw elk and the grizzly bear and mountain sheep mountain goats um buffalo all over the place so nice. um yesterday we drove across highway 212 which goes up to 10,900 feet and um there was snow all over but the roads were clear and as soon as we passed a rainstorm came through but it snowed up there again and they closed the pass so um and they, it snowed up there again today. So, now, yeah. but that was pretty cool driving at ten thousand feet. So, is this the Anyways. first time you guys have done this, or you know, do you guys do this often? First, we went out west in two thousand ten, but yeah. south of here. Um, so this was the first time up this part of the country. So, yeah, it's beautiful. It's cool. I've been fo I've been following yeah, the yeah. pictures. You know, if if you guys aren't following Walter, uh, he's on Facebook, Walter Keller. The third and Instagram also with Safety Harbor Firearms. And, yeah, and, um, absolutely. You know, Facebook too on uh, Safety Harbor Firearms. Yeah, but um, you're throwing up a lot of pictures. I'm seeing I'm seeing uh, tactical gnomes all over the place. Ah, uh, yeah, we try to. I try to remember to do it. Yeah. There you go. So that's um, your official tactical gnome sighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
but um yeah it's, it's been it's been a it's been a cool trip um i've done all put the driving the, put so. up the gnome again while you're there talking oh, okay <laughs> sorry more more shameless self-promotion yes um but um yeah, it's been it's been fun um even though i'm doing all the driving but yeah doing it in, in a 2017 escalade is not too bad either so yeah um, it took, nice. took a while to figure out all the the controls and you know still don't have it all figured out lots of buttons and you know it's like but, an aircraft <laughs> <laughs> kind of sort of yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah no we've got a whole nother we're going to end up tomorrow driving across uh, wyoming towards the devil's tower and then ending up in rapid city and mount rushmore and and um horse. crazy horse yeah and gonna go down and try to do an alpine slide there maybe a uh a zip line if i'm not too fat um stuff like that so we've got uh, and then come back on saturday the 17th so okay cool this is a great trip for the family man uh, you know uh, i think it's uh something that you guys are going to remember forever especially that most of the family did it. i know not everyone's there but that's awesome yeah yeah it's it's it'll, it's definitely fun <sighs> So now we just have to do something and have to do next time something to top it, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You just, this is what you just did, Walter. You said it's definitely fun. <sighs> <laughs> well, it's tiring, you know. <laughs> We're used to flat ground, not the right, yeah. hills and mountains here. Yeah, you try driving for a couple hours where the road drops off a thousand feet on the edge and you're right on the edge, so. Yeah, you poor Florida guys. <laughs> I get to drive and everybody else gets to go stay on the road. Watch what you're doing. No more, no more gopher dancing or something. Like, you know. Oh, so no one else wants to drive. You're the only one that wants to drive because of all the mountains. Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know. Okay. But anyway, so that's what we're up to. That's good, man. That sounds like an amazing adventure. I know that um, to go back to the museum. I think it was the Adventure Cowboy was talking about that museum. I think he's done some stuff over there. Uh, yeah, Clayton. I've been uh, I've been chatting with him on Facebook. So. Okay. He's been commenting on um, the different aspects of the trip and stuff. And, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Are, are cool. you going yeah, to get a chance? Go are you going to get a chance to see Clayton while you're out there? No, we've already we went in Montana to Red Lodge, and then we're already back in Wyoming. Oh, so, uh, okay. All right. Um, but we we need to take a trip out and see him and 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 do something like that. That'd be cool. Absolutely. Yeah. For anyone who's watching who doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about. Um, Clayton the Adventure Cowboy. What's his, his last name? Is uh, Markser. 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 Yeah, that's the last name. Really cool guy. We always see him at Shot Show, but um, you know, and then and he, I see him on social media. But we got to hang out with him, man. He's got an awesome life. Yeah, he's uh, he tests guns and stuff for like Cimarron, Cimarron yeah. arms. Yeah. The lever action, the lever actions, and all the cool cowboy type guns and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's living a pretty cool yeah. life out there. So yeah, man, we do have to do that trip. I volunteer as long as you rent the the um, the Escalade. Escalade, all right. We could be balling it, like you said, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you coming with us, baby face? <laughs> I, if there's an Escalade involved, but yeah. 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 <laughs> it's got heated seats and everything, you know. It's, yeah, you it's, it's, it's like the whole shebang. Yeah. yeah. It's. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. so that's what we're up to. That's cool, man. That's a that's a great adventure, you know. Um, I'd love to do something like that with the family. So, what's up with you, baby face? What are you? What are you oh, doing? Not a whole lot going on. Uh, yeah. Just you know, working, doing the doing the work thing. Mm -hmm. Besides okay. that, uh, I went to a wedding on Sunday, and it's really it right now. Okay, so your your friends are all getting married off. Uh, not my friend. This is Marley's friend. Oh, Marley's friend. Okay. I think my God, I think a good couple of my friends are already married off. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe you would get another. Uh, groom's drinking team T-shirt. When I because, when I get married, we're going to have one. <laughs> yeah, because at this point, you have pretty much you've probably worn that one threadbare. It's, it's one of my it's one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> it's like every time we do, people are gonna think we do all those YouTube videos in, in one, one day. day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's just it's you. <laughs> That's your yeah. favorite shirt or something. Shirt. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone else. I'm um, like your your microphone's going in and out, man. We gotta we gotta get baby, yeah. we gotta get uh, baby face a better microphone on the situation. I'll work on something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm hearing we the gotta, same thing here. So. Yeah, we gotta. And you're the tech guy, baby face. 
Pull that string tighter on your can, man. <laughs> it's all the guns. All the guns you have over there, you, the guns that you have over there are messing up your reception. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Meg. go off. We, got, we yeah. got Walter's two guns that are somewhat finished. The 1903 okay, cool. and the... Oh, I got to put that... I got that uh, threaded threaded 1903 barrel we got to put on there and put a can on yeah. it. Where's the charging port? Yeah, and then we got, let's see, we got a 1911. We got a MMP 2.0. We got everything. What's the, tell everyone the story behind that uh, pocket hammerless. Uh, so Walter sent this one to me to get worked on. Uh, this thing... Uh, there's pictures up of it. I think you have one on Instagram. Uh, this thing was hideous yeah. when it came here. It was it was not a pretty good. So we rehabbed it. It uh, got a reblue. Uh, did some work on the action, and now it uh, mostly functions. <laughs> okay, that's good. I th uh, what do you have left to change? I think the barrel because I, yeah, I did we're, shoot we're putting, it. We're putting a new barrel in it. The barrel is kind of like a sewer pipe, so we're uh, we're gonna update upgrade the barrel. I think Walter uh, bought a threaded barrel for it. Yes, I did. Yep. So, yes, so I did. Are we, we going to see a video on this? Uh, or did you already post a video? I'm not sure. I think the video's already up. Okay. Yes, there was a video. <laughs> Man, it's everything is a blur for me right now. Okay, so then what's the other one you're working on? Uh, this one is a PO8 Luger. Um, this one we basically have working other than it doesn't want to reset. But um, besides that, it will shoot. It does work. Just got to figure out the, re the resetting issue with it. But it's uh, the ugliest PO8 Luger ever from 1918. But, and it has good rifling, too. Yeah this, nice... one is, yeah, this one has really strong rifling. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's a good that's gun. the ghetto Luger. Yeah, this is the one that what you said, said it had uh, duct tape or, or uh, electric tape on it. Yeah, electric oh, okay. tape for grips, yeah. Yeah. So that one's um, almost done, or...? Uh, it's pretty close. I um, I think we just got one issue. We gotta we gotta try to sort out. But beyond that, it's it's pretty much there. Okay, cool. And uh, you said, Patrick, that it, because it has a slot for the stock. Yeah, this, yeah, this uh, is a cool one. Cool to... So, okay. so this is a nice. Well, have to get because, a... Yeah, because this is from 1918. It has the uh, the the lug on the back for putting a stock in it. Um, and if you can find an original Luger stock, uh, you can stick it on there without it being an NFA item. So does it, have, does it have to be an original one, or can it be a repo one? Has to be an original. That's the one downside. Oh, so no. The stock costs as much as a gun. <laughs> stock stock's gonna cost as much as the Escalade. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if you can find one, uh, or you know, whatever, <laughs> put a you're stock on it, and it, you're driving like, back on a in a Yugo. <laughs> There you go, and uh, you can you can use it. It's exempt from the NFA. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll work something out. Yeah. So while you guys are on the road there, I'm I'm supposing that you guys aren't going to see any movies or anything like that because you're doing oh. like the Wild oh, West. Oh, oh, oh. we pirates. did pirates. Yeah. You you went to see Pirates of the Caribbean? I was in a small movie theater in Jackson. Okay. How was it? So so, not. I mean, <laughs> what this is like the fifth, sixth. What I think this is five, or f I w I always I always enjoyed Drunk Jack, mm -hmm. but you know, and it's, uh, 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 yeah, but uh, you know, You're pretty um, good at that. The new girls, the new girls, nice to look at in the movie. Okay, who who is this star? I don't know. I had like that's uh, not a movie that would be on my radar right now. That's like uh, I'll wait until it comes out on video. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah well, it, you need to, you need to do that so you can understand all that English mumble jumbo sometimes. The accents. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm and pretty. I'm pretty good with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did go. We did go to. We did go to see Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume Two. That was pretty good. We saw, yeah, that, we saw too. that recently. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a good yeah, movie. Probably. I mean, you know, it wasn't like I don't think it's going to win any Academy Awards or anything oh, like that. that was it. It wasn't the first one. Uh, um, yeah, but I think it, it was still fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it kept the same. Kind of as long as there was some wisecracking and some jokes, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like, like the same thing with pirates. you got to have a little, you know, well, 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 
yeah. you got to break it up. Yeah. So. yeah. That's pretty, probably pretty much how the movie went. I'm pretty sure that he wasn't acting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah, he has a little problem with substances. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. We're, yeah. Johnny Depp is going to do like 20 more of these movies. They're digitizing him at this point. If he dies, they're still going to be able to put him in these well, movies. You know, he's got ex-wives to pay for at this point. I know Paul McCartney was in it for a short little spot. That seemed kind of forced to me. Yeah. yeah. But one of the scenes they show Jack, and in the background, it looks like um, his father's in the background standing. Mm -hmm. But, but Keith Jack. Richards wasn't in, the, wasn't in the movie officially, I don't think. so. young Jack. He was supposedly a young Jack's father. Oh, young Jack's father. Yeah. Yeah. So they always put in a rock star, I think. So, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You yeah. see any movie? Yeah. You know, the, the, yeah. yeah. The younger one of us is Babyface. Uh, so let's see what movies Babyface has seen. Seen any movies? Oh, I'm, not yeah. a, I'm not really a movie goer. Marley is a movie goer. You don't. Your your poor girlfriend does not get to go to movies, Babyface. No, I know. You're you're, you're a single man. You should be able to take your woman to the movies on a regular basis. What's the <laughs> come on? Movies are expensive. <laughs> One thing we did yeah. we the movie theater in um, Jackson was old school. I mean, it didn't have new seats. Mm -hmm. It it was it was like I was back at uh, you know in the eighties. So. Oh you know. yeah, we had the opposite experience when Lola and I went to the movies. We were in Tallahassee. And uh, we were out there because um, one of our sons is going to FSU. So we took him there for orientation. And we went to a movie theater. And it was, I think for Lola and myself, it was 25 bucks. But the seats, and I was complaining about that because, I mean, 25 bucks for two people? <laughs> Just on the yeah. movie tickets, it's kind of ridiculous. But the seats actually reclined back. Yeah, they did that. Oh, that's the sleeper. I'd be out, man. Boop, yeah. Done. Finished. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, you know, I like those kind of things, but I guess you, you wind up having to pay the premium for yeah, all of the, that. The theater we go to in um, Clearwater just upgraded all their seats and are like leather and real cushy and soft. Mm -hmm. And all I want to do when I sit down is go to sleep. Yeah. If you're not if you're not building guns, Walter, if you're not building guns or building up a tank or something, that's pretty much what you do. You go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hibernation. Oh. Yeah, I, I've seen you in action, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Who was who was who was fading out at SEMA after walking all day? Because you. you know, that's not, that's, yeah, but that's not my fault. SEMA's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, SEMA's a little bit insane, man. You know. Yeah. The we'll see. It. Hmm? We'll see. We'll see this year. Yeah, you're, so you're definitely going this year, right? I, I said I'll go, yes. All right, awesome. So so we'll be going out to SEMA. For anyone that's into cars, let us know what kind of cars you're interested in. Um, mostly cool. when we're there, we were looking at the 4 by 4 stuff, right? Speaking of that, um, while we were at Yellow, Yellowstone, I um, saw three or four different um, like overland expedition yeah, yeah. type trucks. Mm -hmm. um, serious ones like the man, the German man trucks, uh, Unimogs, and Iveco, and Iveco, German or Iveco, or however okay. you pronounce it. I posted okay. on um, there's a uh, I haven't done it too much on my Facebook page yet because I've been lazy and tired. Mm -hmm. There's an expedition vehicle, and I posted um, those guys are like driving from Alaska to Patagonia. Oh wow! Okay. So they're, they're doing the whole thing. They're from. Uh, oh, that's oh, Swiss Expedition Overland. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. you actually saw those guys. That's cool. We saw them everywhere. Everywhere we saw yeah, them in town here. Like three times. Oh, what kind of? Didn't they have Toyotas? Don't those guys have Forerunners? No, they got the Aveco. It's oh, like a. Okay. It's a. We saw. It's orange and blue. If yeah, you see the yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. Yellow. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, we saw some really cool vehicles. I, I posted that picture of that three-wheeler. Yes, that? I saw a reverse trike, which is my favorite thing. Uh, yeah. I hope you posted, and that, posted was, that for my benefit because I love reverse trikes. I you when I did it, but, you know. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh see, all this time I was like, oh, that's, that's so sweet. <laughs> Walter saw a reverse trike and took a picture and posted it just for my benefit, and, it, and you didn't even care about me. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of happens. the reverse strikes, man. Those are my like favorite vehicles. I dream about those things. 
Yeah. <laughs> Those guys were cruising around Yellow they were cruising around Yellowstone in that. So and it was kind of chilly out too. So they got Oh wow. They're they're real adventurers. So I don't think I would do that though. <laughs> you can't yeah. put a rooftop tent on a reverse strike. <laughs> That's for the sum <laughs> that's for the good weather, the summertime. I saw a lot of those actually. I've seen quite a few of those yeah. in our travels. Yeah. And a lot of trucks like yours too. So Yeah. So um okay, do, are there some questions, Lola? What's going on? The dog on the bike the other day. Oh yeah, you know what, Lola's like the other day we we saw a guy on a motorcycle and he had one of these little dogs in a in a in a little dog bag. You know how people have the little dog bags for little toy dogs? And this guy was on a motorcycle and he had one of those and then he had it like um like a bungee strapped on and the dog is moving around <laughs> on the motorcycle. So guess what happened? <laughs> the dog just fell off the motorcycle man. and I had to like turn my challenger sideways so I could block traffic from and I'm and I'm like <laughs> you know banging on my horn man to try to get the guy's attention because he he's driving off and leaving his dog <laughs> yeah it was and you know what i thought to myself damn it why didn't i record this <laughs> yeah. need a dash cam <laughs> yeah. what kind of dog was it um you know it was uh what kind of dog was that like a little dash hound or yeah, a little like one of those little wiener dogs <laughs> Yeah. Rat dog. He was okay. The dog was okay. He was fine, but I mean, the whole, <laughs> went for a ride. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, I don't know. It's amazing what guys try to put on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. That, that's why you get. That's why you get a reverse trike, or you get a sidecar. You you're into sidecar vehicles, so. Yeah, yeah. I have that Chinese motorcycle thing, but um. Yeah. Yeah, have you, some someday it'll be running again. Yeah, someday. yeah which is it? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Yes, I did ride it. Yes. Okay, you've ridden it. So you're into yeah. motorcycles. Well, like, I guess. Yeah, it looks like we lost we lost Babyface there. Yeah, so I don't Babyface is internet. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. He supposedly has a better internet. What's going on with that? I don't know. He's probably doing a bunch of things over there at the same time. This is working pretty good for a hotel room internet, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah he's good. He's he's switching computers right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we got to get him. What else do we? We got to get him on a Mac or something like that, but he refuses. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he says he switched. Okay. Something's. I think something's up with his computer. Yeah. So you know what? We were talking about movies before. I'm going to switch back. I'm going to be all over the place. Okay. Guess what movie I'm really looking forward to seeing. Guess. Not Can a dark tower. You, can... you, you like that one? Oh, so the, the one with the, the black dude. The black dude who's uh, Idris a... Idris Alba, the dark tower the shooter. Yeah. yeah, the dark tower movie. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I never, yeah. I never heard of that series from Steve. I didn't even know that Stephen King did like a kids series. I I don't yeah. care about Stephen King. I just saw the previews. It looked pretty cool. Um, yeah, they look. You know, they look cool. There's a lot of shooting in there, but you know. Yeah, and he's old school with a revolver too. He's like. Yeah, yeah, he's got like a crazy. It does look cool. It does look cool, but his he he has some kind of speech about like I shoot with I don't shoot with my brain. I shoot with my heart, or so, something crazy yeah, like well, that. Well, it's instinctual shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. points and shoots. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I, it does look interesting. But that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about Black Panther. That looks like that's going to be badass. Oh, okay. What's that about? What's that up? What's up with it's that Marvel? It's yeah, Black Panther. <laughs> <I'm back>. Walter, <laughs> Walter's like, what's up with that? <laughs> you never heard of the Black. Did, I, you never heard of the Black Panther, Walter? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what's he? Don't they? Isn't he? No, I, isn't he powerful because he has like I can't hear. gems? Okay, there we go. Gems or something? Like don't don't they mine? I can't remember what it is. They mine something. And... No. Okay. So what what is the special <laughs> metal that's? I know. I need a. Yeah, he's the. I need a thing. Plays, what's uh, what's like, the special metal that's in the um? Unobtainium? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Like in in um, Black Panther, I think is um, is Marvel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The so in Marvel, they have nth metal, right? That's what it is. Nth metal. M. Somebody, yeah. somebody's gonna chime in and be like, "No, you guys are idiots." Yeah, well, we are. But no, it, no, I think it's nth metal or something like that. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But they've got like a special. Okay, both of the universes have their own. Like it's like the same metal, but it's different names. 
depending on if you're in steel. <laughs> depending on if you're in DC universe or Marvel universe. But I get I get them mixed up. Vibranium, thank you, Brandon. Brandon is Brandon. Okay. Looks up. Vibranium. Yeah, but wait a second. Nth metal is DC. Okay, so nth metal is DC, right? Okay. Yeah, nth okay. metal is DC. Is what that's what Brandon Maloney's saying. Okay, so so, so vibranium. So you're saying that in Black Panther's suit is vibranium then? Yeah, all his stuff, all his power is because he he oh. all his stuff is made with vibranium. Okay, so Brandon oh, chimed in with that and made us look bad. <laughs> that told you, so just so chimed that's, in. It's vibranium. <laughs> that's a Stark product, though, isn't it? Stark Stark no, did that metal. Yeah. No, because I think in like in the Black Panther thing, the black like wherever the what's the name of the country. Oh, you no, get, T'Challa is his it's, name, I think. It's some kind of oh Wakanda. It's Wakanda. Wakanda. You're right, Wakanda. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So so Walter, in in Wakanda, that's okay. where the um not the the is it the vibranium? That's where the vibranium, vibranium. is from. Yeah, it's from Wakanda. So yeah. But and they're, they're like sworn protectors of it or something. No, it, it's a it's a it's a made up country, Walter. Wakanda. <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, okay, this is funny. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. This is funny. Let me explain something to you. Wakanda is like this magical land in Africa where for the last couple of hundred years, they've had advanced like alien type technology. They've been flying around and all that. So like everyone else in Africa was slaves. And everybody else, those dudes were rich and had all the money and they were just watching like everyone else be slaves or something. Everybody else has got an AK-47, right, and an RPG, <laughs> and they got like laser guns, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a you know, it's supposed okay. to be like a, a like an African utopia. The thing that was funny to me is that in the trailer, it, this looks like a really good movie. I'm excited to see the movie. There's some good actors in there and all that. But in the trailer, the the um, I forgot the name of the guy who plays the bad guy in there, uh, Claw or something like that, and he's saying how uh, El Dorado is not in South America; it was in Africa. You know, but I, I take exception to that. I was born in El Dorado, so it's in South America. I'm pretty sure of that. You know, Guyana is pretty much El Dorado as far as I'm concerned. Really? You know, they, they're, just, they're just stealing that from us. Socialist El Dorado. Huh? Socialist El so Dorado. I, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, come on. You know, but it looks it looks like it's gonna be a good movie. Lola says I only want to see the movie because there's like all these chicks in there. You know, you know, so. you know it's kind of true though. Yeah, that's you know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's you see that if she's lying to you. Well, but the weird thing about this movie, so if you saw, um, if you saw, well, would you want to would the chicks go see a fat Captain America? No, no. it's got to be a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's got to be a, a a buff dude. You know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Listen, a lot, a whole bunch of women went to see Wonder Woman, so you know. Well, there's a whole bunch of women that like. It's a different a bunch of guys. <laughs> it's a different time nowadays. I, I would like to see Wonder Woman too. I just haven't gotten around to it. So, yeah. there you go. But ain't Linda Carter. It ain't yeah. Wonder Woman. Well, here's the thing that I don't. Uh, here's the. I don't know. Gal Gadot. <laughs> okay, listen, Gal Gadot is cute. I'm not going to deny that she's cute, but she's not buff enough. She needs, <laughs> she needs like she needs to like beef up the legs a little bit, you know. I mean, you know, she doesn't come like I like the the cartoon Wonder Woman. She's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> a little anime on the <laughs> side, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> we got the, but here's the funny like, thing. If you look at yeah, if you look at the last Captain America movie, that was that was where they introduced the Black Panther character, where his father gets killed and everything. So mm -hmm. in this movie, in this movie, the, he's supposed to have like this special guard that's all women, all these African badass chicks that are like his special bodyguards, right? So what the hell happened to those chicks when his dad was getting murked out? <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, I don't understand that. That's like a gap. Someone has explained. I want to know in this movie where those chicks were at the time when the king was getting murked out. I can't. Oh, there's there Spence. Spence has joined us. Look at that. He's he's in yeah, all this uh, Marvel yeah, Marvel stuff. Yeah, you're talking Marvel. You're talking Spence. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah exactly. Spence is getting. Walter has no clue of anything that we're talking about right now. <laughs> it's like Walter's like I don't. I don't, we went from tanks. What are you talking about? 
hey, when I'm walking around inside the Cody Museum today, and there's some Boy Scout troops in there, and the, and the leader of the Boy Scout troops said, you know, the AC 130's got one of those guns that goes boom, 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 and I go, a Bofors 40 millimeter, and he goes, yeah, that one. See, that's what I do. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were a superhero for like five seconds in the museum. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's good. Hey, you know, that's your special power. You know about tanks and guns. Somebody's <laughs> got to. Yeah, that's your special power. You know what, Walter? If you were in like one of these comic book movies, like Marvel or DC or something, who who Not would you Tony want to play Stark's you? Dad. Tony Stark's father. Okay, so that would be. No, oh, oh, no. That'd be well, my character. Wait, that would yeah. be Mr. Stark. <laughs> yeah, I come up with all the cool stuff. Yeah, uh, I. You know what? I was gonna make fun of you, but I can't remember what Tony Stark's dad's name was either. Dad. <laughs> yeah. I think it was. I think it was Eric Stark. Howard over there. Yeah. Oh, Howard, Howard Stark. Yeah. yeah. Howard yeah. Stark. Marvel yeah. Encyclopedia yeah. over here. So. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've got my. I've got my. Re I got my researcher in the back here. He's. He's. Giving me all the info. Stark, so. Stark, Stark. Yeah. So you would be Howard Stark, huh? Yeah. Why? Stuff. Okay, so does that make Will and and Spencer over there? They're Tony Stark. Stuff. Like a suit of armor. Yeah, he could be Tony Stark, and Spencer could be. No, I don't okay, know. pick a character. You know what? We, we need to make a, a suit of armor. Uh, uh, we, we need to make an Iron Man suit along with the, all the uh, other stuff uh, we're supposed to be making. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're a I'm pretty sure. big Ant Man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm sure people out there would like to know what's going on with that 50. <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised no one's. Well, nothing right them. now because I'm in Cody, Wyoming. So where's the 50 um, that we're giving away, Walter? Okay, so tell people that we're going to be giving away 50, right? 50, yes. I just got to get back and put it all together. Okay, so we're we're. What's the details of what we're making here with this 50? So. We're doing we're doing the sh what we're calling like the shorter version of the fifty, right? Sixteen yes, inch yeah, barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen inch overall, thirteen inch barrel, and about a three and change muzzle brake, permanently affixed. Okay, so that's going to be pinned, and um, what's it going to be? Magazine, magazine fed or single? Magazine fed. Okay, yeah. and then it's going to have the KES stock. Be is it, is it going to have the KES stock on it? What's going to be? Um, yeah, we could do it. We could do the whole rifle. I'll have the R stock in the back. Um, okay. Um, I don't, yeah, with our single shot lower on it. Yeah, yeah single shot lower, lower the whole the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we um, should do? We should paint it up, do a special uh, paint scheme, and all that kind of stuff. You know. We should come up yeah, with something. Um, Get it, uh, just get it really hot and stick it in a box of crayons. <laughs> Melt some Crayola all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then clear cut it. Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, you know, now you should have never said that on the air. Somebody is <laughs> rushing to do that right now. <laughs> well, yeah. um, send me a photograph of when you're going to get it yeah. done. Let me see how it looks. <laughs> that is so crazy. Like when, when he just like, said that, oh. I was like, that's so crazy. We should totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just hot wax <laughs> and a clear coat. <laughs> yeah, That's it might. Um, I don't. I might have to try that when I get back. Parkerize something and leave it dry, and then put the crayon over the top and see how it, it soaks into the parkerizing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, know. how hot does it have to get to melt a crayon? Not very. Yeah. No. Not very. Yeah, crayon yeah. So wax. Probably come out, coming out of the. Yeah. Yeah, coming out of the park tank, it's boiling temperature. So if I sat it down on top of the crayons, it'd melt right over it. So yeah, that's gonna be like the you know the Picasso of guns, right there. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Somebody's gonna do it. Somebody's gonna do it before you get back from Wyoming. Well, you know, I shouldn't. We shouldn't have said it online because you know what you know what seems to have happened in the past when we said things online. Someone else. <clears throat> never mind. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You know, when you're right. genius, when when you've got genius ideas, you know, I mean, I don't know if they're really genius. They're just crazy ideas. <laughs> We're the think tank, the think tank of hey, crazy you, ideas. Did you see What's the uh, Facebook thing the other day where the guy blows the uh, the refrigerator up and the door flies right past him? Yes. No. Holy crap! Wait, wait a second. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, wait. How did I? Can write. Uh, they're, they're saying I'm talking too loud, but because yeah, like, I can't, I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh. I need what to have is the a name, setup here. 
what is the name of this video? What is it? Tannerite Refrigerator? Dude, here, here, I have a link. It's called, ah, oh, crap. Dude almost killed after a uh, fridge full of Tannerite, after shooting fridge full of Tannerite. Hold on. I'll link it. I'll link it for you. Uh, <laughs> you got a seal line. Man. <laughs> there you go. It's in, it's in the chat, in the, in the group uh, chat here. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let me um hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I love how I love how he's behind like the smallest tree he could find as well. <laughs> it's like you couldn't find a bigger tree to get behind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling that this. Wasn't, that, yeah, go ahead. You don't you don't face the door that's gonna come off towards you. <laughs> the, the, you know? This is really sad and it shows that I'm getting older. But the only other thing that I noticed is like that perfectly manicured lawn now has like crap all over it. <laughs> like the grass is so perfect and now it's full of junk. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, well that's Tanner. Oh, I can't hear Hank. No, he moved himself, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. He's okay, watching nothing. the video. He's in deep thought. I can see it in his glass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is that real? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> like, why would you? Why would you put a? That place does not look like a place where you go shooting. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I mean, I hate to say this as a gun guy, but yeah, you know, I think you go someplace else to do that. <laughs> you know, God, that like, it comes right past him. Yeah. That was from a movie. Those guys are lucky. Are we sure this is real? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy, man. <laughs> that's insane, right there. <laughs> you know, hey, I've seen hey, I've I've seen like uh, you know rims rims from cars and stuff like that going up in the air when people set off. Tannerite. We had a we shot a printer with some tannerite, and a piece of plastic went between me. And the guy I was standing next to, it just <laughs> like a frisbee right past us, oh, and it was God. like that wouldn't have been very nice to you know, yeah, have a but um. So live and learn, you know. You just you need a little more distance. Between. Live and learn, get lucky occasionally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you you know, if you survive, if the if the plastic doesn't come and like you know, ax you in the face, <laughs> you know, then you you live and learn and you move on. It didn't kill you. If you want to see some occasionally really gross things, you go on the machinist boards on Facebook and you see where pieces of grinding wheels come and hit somebody in the face. Or, or, or. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, always, that always freaks me out. Yeah. yeah, I have a hard time looking at those videos from Russia, okay? <laughs> Every time I'm working with like a grinding wheel or something, I'm always like, make sure it's angled away from your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. It will break eventually. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah please, be please be safe with Tannerite out there. Okay. It's not a joke. <laughs> yeah. You know, just because yeah, you can no buy as man. much Tannerite as you want, it does not mean that it's safe <laughs> to set it all off all at one time. You find a bigger tree to hide behind, at least. <laughs> um, you need to hide behind a mountain or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that was speaking of mountains. Mm -hmm. All I see out here is places to shoot. Everywhere I turn, there's miles in one direction to shoot. It's like, this is too cool. With mountains for backstops. Yeah. yeah. Did you bring any guns out there with you? No. No. Why not, Walter? No. Too, too, too involved. Yeah, too much work to bring the guns. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you go in airports and the national yeah. parks. And I mean, stuff, yeah, that. national parks is bad, bad juju, Bonner. You can't yeah. bring a gun in national park, yeah. Well, I know how it is, man. Last year, I lugged around that 50. I lugged that fifty oh, all the way to Arizona. Oh, yeah. Went took it to took it to Nevada, came back to Arizona with that fifty. Not a single shot. <laughs> yeah, I think I had I I don't know if anyone knows about this, but I borrowed one of the fifties from Walter and I think like um how, how much ammo did I have? I mean we're talking like yeah. five dollars a round. I probably had what, like five hundred bucks worth of ammo. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah, and I'm I'm driving around with this thing all locked up, big heavy case, ammo, just transporting it. it. Yeah, I drove all the way from Florida, Arizona, you know, did a stop over there, then went to Nevada, came back to Arizona for the thousand man shoot, 
with a 50 in the trunk, never shot. I mean, I was taking it in and out, going to hotel rooms and everything. <laughs> never shot it. So disappointing. And the only thing, the only good story I have to tell about it, because I this is my first time driving out to the West Coast. And um, I don't know if it was New Mexico or where I was, but I'm on the highway. And then all of a sudden I see like, you know, oh, the border, yeah, patrol. border patrol checkpoint up ahead, <laughs> and I was like, "Wait a second, <laughs> did I drive into Mexico? <laughs> what happened here?" <laughs> you know, and then I'm thinking, and then there was no way you couldn't get like they just tell you when you're already there that there's there's a checkpoint coming up, and I was like, "Okay, if they pull me over, <laughs> how am I explaining this fifty that's in the trunk?" I mean, obviously, there's nothing illegal about it, but you know, <laughs> be an awkward conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so I went through all of that and didn't uh, shoot uh, it. I could let me tell you a story about uh, that and kind of right after 9 11. Um, the person I used to work for um, back when we knew who that is, that was Mark Serbu. Um, after 9 11, I was now we, know, now we know who it is. <laughs> well, <laughs> most people do know because, you know, right. whatever. But, anyways, doesn't yeah, matter. Just... We, were go we were going to Knob Creek. We were driving up in a van that we rented here. And we had it full of stuff. I mean, it was 20, he had 20 millimeter ammo in it. We had 50 cals, 50 cal ammo, all kinds of stuff. So it was right after 9 11, and we were, let's, let's go to the Patton Museum. Well, the Patton Museum is on Fort Knox on the base. So we, the ex, they, they didn't have like official security set up. They'd set up like impromptu where the MPs are going through cars and stuff and looking at everything. So we pull in there, and the, the young MP guys come up and they go, uh, Do you got any guns? So we got a whole freaking van full of guns, you know, it's like we're going to the machine gun <laughs> shoot. And um, they'd open them up and they look and they got the 50 out, one of him marks 50s out looking at it roadside and look at this and oh, this is cool. And uh, he said, well, you guys can, you got, you can't come in obviously. So um, <laughs> you, you can, they were cool about it. You know, you could take it back at that time. You could, he said, you can take it, you can take someplace and leave the guns. You can come back with the ammo or you can, or vice versa. Um, now you can't do any of that. You can't go on any base with either or. But um, yeah, we went and dropped off the we dropped dropped off the um, the guns. I think it was, and went on went to the Pat Museum. You know, and they they were cool about it. So, you know, how, how many years have you been going to Knob Creek? Because I know you go twice a year. You make that pilgrimage out there. Um, I went uh, the first time in two thousand. So, um, yeah, I've been going ever since. As long as they have it, a couple times it was canceled, but. Um, um, but yeah, we've been going since 2000 twice a year. So. Yeah, there's there's someone that made a comment saying, um, I don't know, what was the name of that person? Meredith. Yeah, Meredith, Meredith. Made, yeah, Meredith made a comment saying that he took someone to the hospital, a broken wheel in the skull. 30, yeah, yeah, broken yeah. Uh, sandy uh, uh, cutoff wow. disc or something in their face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, I mean we're joking around, but no kidding, man. Please those cutoff those cutoff wheels are, are no joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't you don't think about it when you're doing it, but you know don't get your face in line with the wheel when you're working it, and don't you know there's yeah, basic that's stuff. Said. Yeah. Safety equipment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you want to wear you want to wear a face shield. I don't think you put on that face shield enough, Walter. Well, so you do some craziness. Yeah. You know? Yes, mother. <laughs> you're, so, you're always. So, <laughs> So Walter had a question. You didn't. You didn't text me back the other day. When are you coming out with the semi-auto fifty cal? <laughs> what, what did he say? I can't. I can't hear what you said. My audio. Was, uh, he said semi-auto fifty cal. <laughs> Inquiring. I just got. I just got a no reply. I didn't even get a not happening or I don't know. It's just a no reply at all. I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a sign when you when you uh, when you communicate with Walter and you yeah, get no you just reply. Get nothing back, it's like don't bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, probably not. Um, <laughs> uh, I need to do something like a fifty cal Oh, so yeah. Somebody in the in the comments yeah. asking when you're going to come out with a, an SBR upper. So, like a twelve-inch upper, fifty cal. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. <laughs> I want a fifty cal. I want a fifty cal pistol. <laughs> there you go. Well, we already did that. Yeah, we could do that. No, it yeah, wasn't. That, we already did that. I, I want something that we can conceal. You know, we could appendix carry it. 
Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sam can make you a special holster out of some exotic. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> skin. Sam. Sam can do that holster. I mean, speaking of which, you know, we've got to do the firepower rig video. I don't know if anyone out there has seen the firepower rig. Go to Andrew's cool. custom. Go to his website. the The firepower rig is basically the uh, the short shotgun that Safety Harbor makes, the Keg Twelve. Um, you can. This is a whole rig for that. So you can have your Glock, your um, your Keg Twelve, extra shells and all that kind of stuff. So Walter has one. I have one. They both came courtesy of Andrew's Custom Leather. You know, obviously Andrew's Custom Leather sponsors my channel, just like Safety Harbor Firearms. And ran CLP. I'm gonna sneak sneak in a plug. And lest I forget, I don't know. Do, do. Do, do you guys know about this? Big Daddy Guns is a sponsor of the hamstring <laughs> situation. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's it's obvious. We need to tell it. Just yeah. it from the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe people didn't hear about that yet. You know. Yeah. Big Daddy Guns, man. They're like. Here you, here know. you are. You're, you're you're squatting in their property. You don't even have a sign <laughs> behind it yet. I mean, what are you? It's got the little bar. What are you doing? <laughs> I know. It's for, if you were in my shop and you were doing that, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be pistol whipping you all right now in the back. It's pretty ghetto. And you know what the crazy thing is? I have twenty-four hour access. Okay, this That's is a, awesome. This is a huge warehouse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a vlog and show you guys. I'm in this huge where. This is not the gun store. So people might think this is like the gun store. This is not the gun store. This is another business that Big Daddy owns. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Big Daddy on for you guys one of these days. He's a pretty cool cat. But this is another business, and this is like a massive warehouse. And I'm in it in Gainesville. It's like 9:18 right now. I was here the other <laughs> night. I think at like uh, I don't know midnight or something. <laughs> so, you know, um, yes, I, I am pretty ghetto. I have not fully set up everything yet. But I figured I would just jump on and start broadcasting anyway. Nothing like losing your sponsor after the first broadcast. <laughs> well, listen, the, the one the, the one good thing is that you know they're good guys. They you know they know how I roll, Walter. Yeah. Anyone, anyone who deals with me has to know how I roll. Yeah, yeah. What? That's yeah. how we do. Patrick is always telling me about this. Like seriously, man. We were uh, we were rolling pretty organized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sp speaking about rolling, uh, I was, I, 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 our first place we stayed at in Steamboat Springs mm -hmm. in Colorado, I booked it. I thought it was like $180 a night, right? And we get there, and it's a three-bedroom apartment, like apartment with full everything, full kitchen, washers, dryer, the whole freaking thing. They tell me during Christmas time, during the holidays, it goes for $1,600 a night. Wow. <laughs> wow. But I mean, the skis... The ski slope was right out the window. You look right out there, and there's the ski you slopes. Like and the, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could have it. It's, it's set up to have eight people in the place. Wow. So that's celebrity status. I'm sure they have like. Oh, seriously. Yeah. That was on. That was full on balling on that one. There you go. So okay. we're so we're doing that next winter, right? That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, it's big enough. You could do something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be the Safety <laughs> Harbor trip, for for. <laughs> For everyone that Safety Harbor sponsors, that's going to be the trip, right? Like all the. Uh, yeah. uh, then we come oh. out with a new summer auto fit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, wait a minute. It didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, I saw, I think you, you sent me video of that, man. That's, yes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good bargain that you got, you know. Uh, Actually, and we went, after we checked out, mm -hmm. Peggy checks the bill out, they only charge us 150 something. Wow. So. Yeah, so. Did you guys have like a special agent that hooked you up with these deals or? No. Um, Booking.com. Booking.com. Okay. So that, so That's you just, it. is it just the timing? Is this like the right time to yeah, travel? Yeah. Or everything? They're, technically their summer season started the weekend that we left. Okay. But, so it was like a dead week. For so them. it's a dead week. Yeah. We get there. I'm like, so there's like nobody there, you know, we walk in to check in and there's nobody at the front desk. Okay. Um, immediately but um yeah i mean it was great yeah um you know, we, we only stayed there one night but um i wish we hey, could have packed that up packed that up for the rest of the trip and brought it along with us but uh, absolutely that, yeah. that place looked pretty sweet we're going on vacation next week we're going to be in branson missouri branson got to go branson. see dolly Is dolly playing yes, I, i'm, I'm going to branson? dollywood and she better be there because you know <laughs> i'm going there for specific reasons no wood for you if Dolly ain't there. 
<laughs> that's uh, that sounds all kind of wrong. <laughs> Well, all you, kind know, of you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, you you always hear about Branson, Missouri. I guess a lot of people go out there in the winter. Time. Wait, wait, wait. Do you? Because I never have. <laughs> you never have. I always hear. About that. <laughs> you always hear about talking about Branson. No, never have. Never. You're too really young. Talk You're too young. Branson. There's a whole bunch of like uh, entertainers that live oh, in yeah, Branson, yeah, Missouri. Yeah. Oh, all, oh, the okay. all the big, all the big country people have theaters. Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean. Ah. You know, I'm sure there's no rappers out there, but at this point, I'm pretty tired of like listening to Drake. So, so you're not going to see any donked, you're not going to see any donked out Impalas out there or anything like that. You know, uh, maybe if I do, it will be on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Country, yeah. Donked out. But you know what? I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to getting out there. I mean, I like you know I've never been to a country music music concert or anything like that. But I know there's a lot of entertainers, there's a lot of comedians and stuff like that that live out there. And then every Christmas, yeah, around Christmas time, you see a lot of stuff about Bronson. Yeah. Well, I I see it around Christmas time because a lot of people go out there for Christmas time just because of all the shows. Right. Right. Yeah. That must be high dollar. That must be high dollar time around Christmas time. Yeah, I think we're doing the same thing that you're doing. We're going at this time because this is probably the cheap time to go. Yeah, you got to go during off season. Yeah. 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 You know. So, so when, I, when I when I when I when I walked into that Sheridan room in Steamboat Springs, I was like, "Holy shit! Room. Yeah, this place is awesome! <laughs> fireplace, like a real fireplace, and everything. You know, yeah. and gas fireplace. Yeah, you know." Yeah. I mean, Ice and you know when I walk into a place with a kitchen and I open up the refrigerator and there's ice already made for me. They won. They won. Falling. They, uh, falling. Yeah. And you, mean, just, yeah. and you had it for like less than twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah. I would just look in the policies and see if like if you get sick while you're in this room, if you have a heart attack, yeah. do they let you? Can I stay, stay there for a month? <laughs> yeah. We, we yeah. We got, I'll pray again. Yeah. 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 That was cool. But that happens sometimes. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. So. Yeah. So what's going what's going on in like uh, you know we should probably cover some gun news here. Um, I, I think that they've uh, rehashed the um, the the uh, NFA like suppressors coming off the NFA. I saw something about really? that. Yeah. Um, so. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna try to pull that up right now. The Hearing Protection Act. Oh hey, while you're doing yeah, the Hearing Protection Act. Uh, let me see. There's something coming up tomorrow. I'm trying Hearing to... Protection Act language incorporated in a comprehensive sportsman package. This was one day ago. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting, right? I mean. <clears throat> They've scheduled a hearing for June 14th in which the Federal Land Subcommittee will hear a discussion draft on the Sportsman Heritage and Recreational Enhancement Act. So I guess they're rolling Hearing Protection Act into that to see if they can get it moving along quicker, which is awesome. Yeah. I mean, so do you think, what kind of chances do you think we stand of having that happen? Because I know guys are pretty excited out there about that. Fine. Um, I like to be positive and think that it could happen. If you can get um, distracted with some Russia stuff, then yeah, you can pass yeah. it through. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah please, please. So, hey. that. Speaking of that, did you see that, that Bozo Comey on TV? No, I did it. What was he talking? I, I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, I didn't get a chance. What was what was he talking about? Well, he admitted that he was the leaker. Oh yeah, he self leaked something, but I don't think what he yeah. leaked was illegal, yeah, right? Yeah. Was funny in Columbia. yeah, but what he leaked wasn't actually well, he, illegal. When you when you work for the FBI, there's a they sign a, a thing that says any of your notes, any of your papers, any of it is all confidential, not to be. Handed out and discussed and everything else, right? So he did break yeah. the law. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I think we're so past it with Comey, man. It's like a he, it's like a yo yo go up, going up and down. You know, I don't think he can really make up his mind. I know he's trying to make it look like he has integrity now, but there's so many things yeah, that happened yeah. before the elections, you know, then during the elections, and now afterwards that like I'm looking forward to him just getting out of the news and. You know, just right. Well, yeah. You know, I'm scared of like the media. That's part of the reason he leaked to his buddy in Columbia, Columbia University. Yeah, yeah. pretty sad. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's you know, I, I, it doesn't make any. It doesn't really make any sense to me. And at this point, you know, we're past it. They didn't really. I, I don't think he was effective in anything that he did. Man, it's pretty horrible. Well, you know. And then he came out when he was doing the Hillary thing, and he and he spilled the whole beans. 
with that so there couldn't be any prosecution um, of her um, because he went out and said, oh, well, this didn't matter. And you don't do that. They usually get all the, all the evidence is passed on to justice, and they figure it out, not the FBI director. So mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a political hack. That's all. Yeah, I think, I think at this point it's pretty obvious that, you know, he's trying to forward his political career. He's got um, so you know, and it's all just serving for fodder or whatever. But you know, I think like Will was just saying. I mean, if you know, if if Trump keeps these guys all caught up and angry and you know frothing at the mouth, and we can I sneak some things pass. in. Yeah, huh? no, I totally think this could pass. The, yeah, so the only uh, thing, the thing that I think that is going to have to be pulled is the uh, there's language in it right now about refunding two hundred dollar taxes from everybody from like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. Oh, I don't see that happening. That. There's yeah, no way that's gonna happen. That's millions don't get your hopes up. Revenue. Yeah, that's, that'd that's be a, that'd never be, gonna happen. That would be a, the biggest cluster Especially in with your the world you ever seen. seen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't know if the IRS ever. <laughs> you know, I don't know if the government has ever given back any money. Um, you know, I, I just don't. No way. Yeah, I don't see it happening. <laughs> and and I know people are excited out there. They really want this to happen. I mean, if it does, it'll be a good thing because right now this is kind of like killing a big section of the firearms industry. You know, specifically yeah, they, related to suppressors. If you make it if all you do is cans. Yeah. Yeah, the suppressor industry is stagnating really badly right now. Yeah, if we see this go on for another few years, we're going to lose some some companies here and we're going to probably go back to like what like the 80s or 90s when it was just you know a handful of companies out there but you know i mean in the last couple of years everyone and their mama is making suppressors now so i mean yeah and they are they are 15s yeah yeah everybody yeah. makes one yeah you can't you you can't sell a brand new ar-15 even if you tried mm -hmm. i mean it's 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 amazing if you look so, at the arc so of like you know, a couple of years ago, you're talking like two thousand dollar AR-15s, two three thousand dollars. So, yeah. Did you ever think you'd see an AR-15 less than an AK? No, no, no. Yeah, never. Yeah, that's that's really crazy. I mean, and it's a good. To be honest with you, look, if you if you're in the market for this kind of stuff, or you just you know, this is a great time to to get out there. I don't think that a lot of the of, there's a lot of companies that really haven't come to terms with what's happening. You know, I think a lot of companies had the Hillary plan for, to, uh, to sell guns in 2017. They just figured Hillary was going to win. I know these are gun We're companies. Be millionaires. Yeah, you know, um, they, they really didn't see it coming. Uh, but this is a good time if you want to get into it. I, I wouldn't get crazy right now. I would still do some things, though, because, you know, there, yeah. there's going to be some good deals out there, and they're going to get better. And, I, and I'm, I'm curious to see what happens by the time we get around to SHOT Show of whether or not um, companies woke up and, and decided that they're going to start to innovate and, and, and really give us what we want out there instead of just trying to ram like AR-15s down our throat. M4 carbine knockoffs? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you get know. your Springfield armor, get your Springfield armory M4 carbine. It's the same as every other yeah. M4 carbine out there, but it's been every magazine in the whole world, so it's got to be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll never get. I'll never need Springfield Army after China, that. Though. But um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Springfield Army's got a whole bunch of issues. I think right now they're hoping everyone just forgets about them. Um, I don't. I don't know that that's going to happen. And um, especially, has anyone heard any news out of Illinois lately? Illinois. I know people don't like it when I say Illinois. It's Sounds not a, terrible. Uh, uh, Illinois. That's how I, yeah. It's yeah. Right. You're not from there. Yeah. Um, you're, oh, um, um, 13C. Um, I'm having a brain fart right now. Joe. 13C. Yeah, Joe um, posted the stuff about that county, LaPorte County, I think, in Indiana. It's trying to do some more anti-gun stuff. Um, wow. They tried okay. to do it about a month or so ago, and it got shot down. So now maybe they're revamping their wording and trying to do it again. It was in. It was on Facebook, um, for those people in Indiana. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that. Um, there's a lot of that stuff ramping up. That they're, tr you know, those guys aren't giving up on that. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, speaking another, of, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, here in Cody at the at the museum for the for the firearm stuff, they've got a Glock uh, um, display or a Glock uh, room room yeah. that shows um, with I got a video with Gaston Glock and talking about how mm. the Glock 17 was all designed and 
and um, That's cool. how that all came about. I had, some, had some prototypes. Yeah, like prototype that. guns and stuff that was imported just for a testing and. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. I think that just came in. That's like the latest edition. Um, I think something Glock like did that for their 35th anniversary or something like that. Um, yeah. You know, it's probably worth yeah. it just to go out there to see that. So you saw the prototypes of the original Glocks, all the like Gen 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, those and some cutaways. Yeah. Did you see a Glock carbine? Yeah, did you see a Glock carbine in there? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Did, they, did they have a Glock I, I suppressor in there? <laughs> no. I'm serious. No, there's a there's a disposable Glock suppressor. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, disposable, yeah. That one's yeah. in there. No, no, it's not in there. <laughs> no. Oh man, I, I want to yeah. see one in person. It's cool. It's um the, the display area is probably a, a ten <clears throat> by twenty space or ten by twenty five. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not huge, but it's still it's in there. So yeah, it's um, informational video. Right, like right. That. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd come all the way to Cody to see that just for that. But, um, um, well, I mean, probably coming out there to see the museum, you're saying you could spend a good couple of days checking out that museum, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And if you're doing research, yeah, you could. That's the place to go. You yeah. could spend a week here. So, yeah. uh, Mark Wagner saying that Lewis Machine and Tool is moving out of Illinois and into Iowa, which is, I say, good. I mean, Lewis Machine is like a, it. yeah, they're a huge, what, they're a huge military contractor still, aren't they? Yeah. And, yeah. and they're, um, they're in with the Brits, too, if I'm not mistaken. Good for them. Get out of yeah. Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, sucks. that's good news. I, I know that I know that there's people out there that don't like it when companies move. You know, I think ultimately that's the best choice. I know it hurts employees and people who work for those companies that cannot move. But I think, you know, we've got to let these guys like suffer the the consequences of their nonsense. Push comes to shove, you gotta do something to survive. So Yeah. 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 And, so and, and, and unfortunately. Unfortunately, I, I Illinois just, suffers like California and New York, where Chicago dictates the whole. Yeah, Chicago state. rules everything. Right. Yeah. And the rest of the people in Illinois are not these, most of them aren't these leftist lunatics. No, so. no most of Illinois is, is somewhat backwoodsy, from what I understand. It's very like yeah, country. You get out of Chicago, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, there, I just uh, was on the NRA ILA website. It looks like this probably doesn't affect everybody that's watching, but. Uh, Rick Scott signed on June 9th, so a couple days ago, he signed SB-128 and SB-1052, which has to do with um, the burden of proof for, for uh, self-defense shootings. So it puts burden of proof of self-defense shootings back on the state. I guess before that, it was not entirely on the state for burden of proof, but it looks like a win overall for Florida concealed carriers. Yeah, that definitely makes it <clears throat> easier for you to defend yourself in those situations. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, sure, um, I'm just reading. I'm kind of like poking oh, through their their latest updates to see what people are talking about. That's a cool picture thing. Yeah, um, you know, that's a good thing. I'm kind of surprised with Rick Scott because he's kind of like a fifty-fifty. You know. Uh, yeah, I feel like he goes wherever the wind takes him. <laughs> yeah. Depending on depending on how. Well, long as the wind yeah. As long as the wind blows our way, then that's cool. Keep yeah. so. <laughs> well, you know, I'm planning on having on a, um, a guest, Luis uh, Valdez, that's running for um, a seat on the board of directors of the NRA. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe we'll have him on next week. Uh, I was trying to get him on today. You know, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can get him on later on this week. And that's one of the things he's always talking about, that here in Florida, you know, I mean, it seems like we've got it good, but you know, there, there's some really bad politicians sneaking in here and doing some damage to us. And we may wind up having to move out of Florida if we don't combat this and make people aware of what's going on. We're, I think we're lucky that Miami can't run all of our politics because it'd be the same as Illinois if they, they were allowed to. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think that's... Or, or think, the folks... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Or the folks that live in Gainesville. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy as they live here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, let's, let's go hug some. Yeah, I mean, let's you know, go hug some trees and kiss some squirrels. Yeah, you know, listen, like, Gainesville has that reputation without a doubt, but there's some serious gun guys here. Oh, you know, yours, yours true. Sorry, oh, yeah. sorry, baby sorry, face, sorry, sorry, baby face. I didn't mean to um, <laughs> inject any uh, <laughs> unnecessary pain. Do you, so. you need more proof? So I came downstairs from my office, and oh. within reach, I have. A Glock 43. I have a Keltec 
Uh, I have my little 22 over there. Like, what is that? A Caltech P3AT or something? Yeah, P3AT with a l little laser on it. Blind you guys. <laughs> You've never seen one. Well, right? Hey, you just muzzled us, man. I know. You feel? You should feel scared. I might. I might yeah. shoot you through the through the camera. <laughs> how do Get you a like funnel that? to put that bullet in the one. Yeah. How, oh, God. how do you like this that? How do you like that P3AT? It's nice. I mean, it's just it's extremely basic. It's cheap, but it works. Mm -hmm. This one works. Oh, I, I have tested one, it. I know some people complain yeah. that some of them don't work. This one's right. been sent back two or three times to Caltech, and it works. Two or three times? Is that a, two, or th two or three times. That's the that charm right there. I'm just <laughs> it's, it's been sent back <laughs> because it's so, a, <laughs> so my dad used to a carry this. This is a 380. My dad used to carry this at his shop in his pocket. He, he owns a body shop. And he sweats like crazy, so it like rusted really bad. So he sent it back to Celtic, and they refurbished it and reparkerized yeah. it. But um, it works. I mean, it's one of those things that's small enough where I can put it in like my cargo pants or whatever, and it, I don't even notice it. Yeah, you know what? I, t I talk to a lot of guys that have that same story. You know, um, the one thing with Celtic when it comes to this stuff is that they'll just keep fixing it for you. Yeah, so, they. Uh, it kind of sucks that you got to send it back, but yeah. They fix it and yeah. fix it and fix it. Yeah. And I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to hold my tongue here a little bit, but one of the reasons <laughs> for doing this whole podcast is eventually I'm going to talk to people because people who know about me, they, I, I ran into a guy in the gun store the other day, and he was like, hey, Hank Strange, you know, you're the reason why I bought an RDB, and I started laughing. <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> Let me tell you a little story about a man named Hank. Yeah, and I was like, you know, <laughs> I was like, well, that's funny because, you know, that RDB is the reason why I don't even, like, deal with the guys at Caltech anymore. They got real pissed off at me because of some <laughs> stuff that I said in a in a video that I did for the RDB. I, I'm probably not going to get into that now, but I will at some point do a video and call it Whatever Happened with Caltech and Hank Strange. Which is a shame because the RDB is, is a cool gun, but, one, you can't find them anywhere. And two, I can't buy one through Hank because they, <laughs> Caltech won't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, listen, you, we can still get you an RDB. They can't. That there's no gun company out there that's capable of stopping. Oh uh, <laughs> no, no, but but we can't jump to the front of the line by like calling up somebody we know. Uh, you can't call up Chad and be like, "Yo, bro, I need a right. I need an RDB." He'd yeah, be like, you know. "I don't know this number. Don't call me again." <laughs> yeah, listen, it is what it is. What it is, you know. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. I mean, you know, that's that's just how it goes down sometimes. I think it's one of those really interesting stories that people might enjoy hearing. They might be surprised to hear it. Th this guy was, like, really surprised to hear that, you know, because um, everyone thinks that I have this great relationship with Caltech, and I've done a lot of stuff on their behalf, but they just couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> Yeah. When, yeah, when I, I made some I comments, I, I, think, I, I personally think the RDB yeah, is a cool gun as well. I mean, you've got like yeah. rearward, downward ejecting and all that kind of stuff, but there were some issues with it. And honest, it, yeah. hey, listen, if there's issues with it, we have to talk about it. I, you know, I was watching this. I, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about Yankee Marshall, you know, very famous anti Caltech oh. guy, the Yankee, yeah, Yankee Marshall. Yankee Hill Marshall. Yankee Hill Marshall? Yankee Marshall? No, yeah, the Yankee, Yankee, yeah, the Yankee Marshall. Yankee Marshall. That's it. Yeah, yeah, the Yankee Marshall. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you <laughs> somebody's know, I, gonna somebody like, come on, is gonna point this podcast out to him. And he's gonna like, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I know, I know him. I've chatted to him and stuff. Uh, you know, we've talked and stuff like that. Uh, he, he's a good guy. You know, a real gun guy. He put out a video um, recently that I thought was pretty good. I don't know if anyone else saw it, but he was basically just talking about all the different kinds of gun guys out there. And how people who, you know, how other gun guys should, in their minds, know how to classify who they're dealing with. And, he, you know, he gave all these categories. I'm not going to redo it because I think it was a really good video. So you should just go on the Yankee Marshall and look at that video. And, uh, you know, there he was talking about some of these things. And, you know, from my point of view, I was like an evangelist almost for Caltech. You know, I spent a lot of money buying Caltech guns before they ever did anything. And I've got a lot of videos out there and put a lot of time and energy into it. And I did it because I believe in what they're doing. When we were talking about companies innovating, that's one of the few companies out there that's really trying to innovate 
at the same time, they're almost like a cult, you know, they, they act like, um, you know, Scientologists or something, if you say anything <laughs> bad about the, about their guns. And it's, you know, I think I, they, I, sick, I've, they, they sick their Gestapo after you. Yeah, you know, and I've given this like a nice, at least a year or two years or something kind of moratorium. But at some point, I'm coming out and talking about it. So look out for that. It's coming up. Yeah, I'm out, of, out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, but Trail I'm still, but, but look, we still, we still have, you know, I've still got Caltech guns and, uh, you know, we have access to Caltech guns. Big Daddy, Big Daddy guns, one of the cool things is that, you know, they've got a big collection and, and they can get stuff. Well, now Caltech is probably going to write down Big Daddy Gun. So don't send these guys anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I've got lots of sources of getting my hands on pretty much any kind of gun that I want to get at this point. So, you know, they do, have, they have um, a Bush, <laughs> huh? do they have a Bushmaster assault rifle? Uh, no, but I know you do. I do now. We gotta we gotta we gotta smoke it. Yeah, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're talking about a. What, you bought a Bushmaster M16 or something? No, it's just it's their old school. But the the Bushmaster assault rifle. That's what its name is. Oh, oh, yeah. that, no. I don't. I don't think I've seen. It's that. a classic. It goes hand in hand with the arm pistol, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to try out. that. I haven't seen yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. There it's was ready. one. There was a post the other day. If I had the the spare cash on hand, I was gonna like jump on this. Um, there's a company selling Bushma Bushmaster XM15s, the pre Freedom Group ones, when they were still made in like Wyndham, Maine, for 4.99 yeah. with A2 uppers. Pretty good price. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad for a for a pre Freedom Bushmaster, but you know, right, pre Freedom. Yeah. And where did this company get these from? Uh, police trade. Big corporate. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, there's all police trading guns. And I, I was like, oh, I really want one, but uh, never mind. I don't have the cash flow. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Bushmaster, um, but mine is post, right? I, I don't remember if yours is pre or post. Yeah, I think it's I think it's post. I think we've gone through we've like gone through this we've, before. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are these are pre I guess these are pre whatever, nineteen ninety four, pre assault. Yeah. Weapons. Okay. Oh, guns, okay. but, yeah. So well, tell us about this assault rifle, Walter. Did you get a chance yeah. to shoot it? Yeah, I, I got it. Um, I bought it from a guy that called me out of the blue. Just saw the post actually on the about arm the, pistol, the arm yeah. pistol, and said, "Hey, I saw you wanted to get an assault rifle, a Bushman assault rifle. I have one." So um, a little bit of chucking and jiving, and and I and we did some swapping, and um, and I got um, Bushman assault rifle. And it's one of the chrome ones. Or it's nickel plated. Got a folding stock. Um, it doesn't look like it had been used that much. Um, so I took it out in the shop and shot a few rounds in the bullet trap and it fired. Um, so we did the swap and um, he's the guy I told you about that has an arm pistol too. Yeah, yeah. So I need an arm so, pistol. Uh, so we got to work out something. He, yeah, he, he probably when I get back, he called me before I left about you. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I didn't know what you, you know, like I said, he likes to swap guns. Anyways. Yeah, we'll um, work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I um, I found out later on the on the, on the the rifle when I'm shooting in the shop and it's it's going boom, boom, nothing, boom, boom, nothing. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I took it apart. I clean it, look at everything, clean the barrel, clean the chamber. And then I'm, I racked the slide back one time and I see the gas tube moving and I'm like, Ooh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> well, two of the pins that hold the gas, two, the two pins that hold the gas um, port or block on the barrel, one had fallen out, and I didn't realize it. And then the second one fell out, so it was moving. So it would shoot sometimes, and sometimes it would shoot depending on where the okay, gas. Okay, and was. you said this gun wasn't didn't look like it was shot that much. No, hmm. I, I'm not gonna point any fingers at anything or anybody, but um, I ended up putting a. They had a solid dowel pin in it. And, the, and, it, and it, you could push it in with your fingers. That's, did you see so the I replaced the two dowel pins. Well, I, I could have done that, but I had it in the shop. I had some eighth inch um, like um, roll pins, and I put two roll pins in as a replacement, and they went in nice and tight. And um, took it back to Bull Trap. Rock okay. and roll with it. So are um, you saying that Bushmaster made it like this or someone else? Uh... I, 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 I'm not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that happened on the set of Miami Vice. I don't know. Right. But, um, <laughs> I don't know if it was ever used in Miami Vice. But um, 
it kind of that's the kind of that's the kind of gun that thing is. It looks like it should come off the yeah. set of, of the A team. Right. Or um Miami Vice or something. But um after I put the new pins in, um it's working fine. Um it 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 came with a sh with a with a nickel plated mag also. And it must be the original mag, but it doesn't feed very well. It's a GI old school GI mag with a tilting follower and God, put a mag is, mag in there and just rock and roll with it. So that is a um, uh, so yeah, when I get back, we'll uh, it's a different looking gun for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check you it like out. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you like that baby insane. face, or is it? I don't. I'm not sure how I feel different bad. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I yeah. have to see it in person. And one of the, one of the really weird things about it is, is when you take it apart, all the fire control parts all inside are all M16 parts. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. The hammer, the, everything. I mean, okay. it doesn't have the selector and stuff. Okay, so you know the so question I'm going to ask safety you next. Selector. <laughs> Can you drill a pin, <laughs> drill a pin hole, and make it full on? <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> How tough is it to put a third pin in it and make it full on? That's what Hank wants to know. <laughs> yes. I see. I see. 50 cal semi-auto, and then... <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> so the 50 cal semi has to be at the top of the list. It could probably be easier to do a gangster full auto, but um, we're not going to go there either. <laughs> um, I don't know because it's it, it's the fire control is the same, but the bolt's different, so it wouldn't it wouldn't trip a normal sear yeah, the way the bolt, that. Yeah, it doesn't go as far back, so you need like a. Yeah, because it's got a shortened um, shortened carrier. Okay, we can but, make um, a bolt. We can make a bolt. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, um, we can make bolts. Yes, we have CNC yeah. machines. <laughs> Yes, we can, but we need to make stuff to sell to make money so I can pay we, you. We can um, rebuild him. <laughs> yes, we can. That's like Bob the Builder. No, yes, I was we thinking. Can. Uh, I was thinking the, um, um, the Million Dollar Man. What's what's the name? Of, uh, you know, the Bionic Man. The Bionic That's Man. It. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, Steve Austin. Yeah, yeah. we can rebuild him. Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, no. I'll bring it up, and we'll uh, we'll uh. We'll uh, we'll smoke it too. You know, give it a good run for its money. Okay, um, yeah, I'm sure folks out there are looking forward to uh, the next video that we're doing with you. The last video we did was the how it's made of the fifty. So it's probably time that we yeah. do. We've got we've got a bunch of videos actually that we have to do, and we should have done it before it got real hot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's life in the big city. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're, done it before Florida, I left you're, you're missing all the weeks. rain. You're missing the rain, man. It's raining here in Florida. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, we, we looked at the weather at home tonight, and it was raining again at home too. So yeah, I'm it's going to rain. It, yeah, it's this is going to be some some stuff is going to get. For, well, we were in a drought, and now I guess we're out of that because it's been rain every single day. That's how Are we out of drought we conditions? We have to be. Before we left, I heard the uh, Southwest Florida Water Management Nazis come out with water restrictions. <laughs> you know, and I said the, it was the day the rainy season starts, and, and the Nazis are coming out saying they're going to restrict your water use. And I'm yeah, like, that's and how do they know it's not? Going to start? And look what happened. Now it's now it's flooding. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? I think it's raining like all this yeah. week. What about next week? Um, probably. I mean, I don't know how far. I saw there's a low, on. there's a low pressure area in the Gulf or something. They don't know what it's going to do yet. So. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. We're we'll bore the rest. Again. Well. well Let's, let's have a weather report from Central Florida. Let's bore the whole yeah, world soon, to death. As soon as you get back. We are not meteorologists here. <laughs> you don't have to be. All you got to do is look outside. And if yeah. you want to really, get really fancy, just dye your hair blonde and put a short skirt on. That's yeah, all you got to do. To <laughs> and uh, you know what? On those words, I've just gotten the notice from Lola Strange. <laughs> Lola was like, okay. You know what? I just wanted to make sure that I got on here and did this hangout. I'm going to try, you know, we're going to try to do this every single day. We're going to be here hanging out. It's going to be crazy. So I want to thank everyone for like joining us, hanging out. You know, we're going to, we're going to be back tomorrow. We'll have some kind of guest. If anyone that's out there that wants to come on the show, get in touch with me. I am uh, Hank Strange at Gmail and I'm on all kinds of social media. If you have some cool stuff to talk about, hey, we're looking for a reason to get on here every day and talk about stuff. I want to thank Walter Keller and the rest of the family, the Keller family, for coming in. You got some last words, Walter? Yeah, if I have, speaking of the Bushmaster assault rifle, I know you know somebody that knows more about that than the average bear. I have a lot of questions about that. So, oh, okay, you, um, yeah. 
that yeah. I wouldn't mind asking. Not to be not to be a pain in the ass, but just um, yeah. just question why they did things the way they did. So yeah, are you talking about Matt Gwynn? Uh, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my. But I don't like to bug. I don't like to bug people. I don't want to bug him. You know, I don't want to become a yeah. pain in the butt. You know. Just, yeah, no, he's a good I'm not guy. Trying to be a, he's a good guy. I'm not trying to be a wise ass. I just have questions. So I'm just why they did things the way they did. So. Right, he's a good guy, and he's pretty proud of his dad and 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 all the things that he did. So we can definitely reach out to him. You know, that's like uh, that's like gun royalty there. So yeah, well, you know, we could do that. All we right. can make that happen. Okay, babyface. Thanks for coming on. I'm sure you've got some partying, some drinking to do. You got to go find your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get some dinner. We haven't ate yet. So. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had anything to eat yet. It's yeah. almost 10. Yeah. So I got to find something. Yeah, yeah. Go eat. Thanks for coming on, guys. I'm going to stop the broadcast. Just hold on right cool. there. I'm going to stop it. Okay, thanks for everyone to, for joining us and supporting the Hank Strange situation. You know, I really appreciate it. We are Hank Strange on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Help us out to put up stuff here in the studio. Like Walter said, we're, we're missing stuff. So we appreciate you helping us out with that. Peace out. <laughs>